the hell happened? Came up behind me. Tried to strangle me. Who tried to strangle you? I don't know. I was being strangled. Go lock yourself in your office. I'll call for help. I need to go warn Nate. God, he's dead. Freeze! I'm not around this time! Jason, what are you doing? The question is, what are you doing? You know, you're awfully nosy for a janitor. Mighty suspicious, I'd say. I don't know what you're talking about. But Nate's in this classroom slumped over dead, and Eddie was just attacked. We need to call for help. I'll have this situation under control as soon as I have you in cuffs. I'm not going anywhere, Jason. We need to get help. I don't need help! Do you know what it's like to love somebody and not be loved back no matter how hard you try? Is that why you killed Rachel? Kill her? I would never kill her. I loved her. I'm not a killer. What about you, Mike? You show up out of here, here out of the blue asking all kinds of random questions? And I started your background check. Yeah. Mike is at home watching the game. So who does that make you? Where's that axe, huh? Saying about attacks and dead bodies. Someone's looking really suspicious indeed. What? Axe? I, I don't think I'm stupid. I know what's going on around here. I told you, I know everything that goes on around here. I got a real sick sense about this. Eddie. I need a place to do the ritual to see if the watch is what I'm looking for. I've got to get to that supply closet. I need to find a safe place for Eddie. He gave me keys to the supply closet. I should go there. I think I saw a door on the first floor when I was leaving the theater.
can't go this way. I need a place to do the ritual to see if the watch is what I'm looking for. This isn't going to work here. I need to try these keys. Look, I'm sorry, Mike. Come on. Please open the door, please. Not a chance. Mike, please. My wife is sick. She, she could die. Look, I promise. I'll turn myself in if you just give me the watch back. You can't take a life to better your own. Please. I'm begging you. I'll do anything. It's exactly what I'm afraid of. I need to set the watch down. Maddie, you really need to stop making bad choices in your life. Listen to me. I know what I'm doing this time. Get the hell out of here and let me finish this. Suit yourself. No! I'm sorry, Eddie. This had to be done. No! Turns out Eddie was in the possession of an ancient pocket watch with the ability for its owner to turn back time. The owner could heal himself or make themselves younger, but with a cost. The owner had to take a life to get more life. The bodies of the missing students who had disappeared turned up at Eddie's home. I got the watch back and intend to destroy it, so it never turns up and hurts anyone ever again. <laughs>